Sports to the Bone family, what's up, what's up? A blessed evening to you all. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. All right, so <laughs> my viewers and subscribers, earlier today, we had the opportunity to see both sides of West Indies. Yes, man. We're talking about moving from total dominance to total madness. I must tell you, my viewers and subscribers, we're talking about that third test match being played between West Indies and England. England actually took first strike on day one and from a general point of view, West Indies can say that they took the day, right? If you insert a test team and at the end of day one, you bowl them out for 204, you would be happy, right? But if you watched the entire day's play like I did, then you would know that the West Indies bowlers are definitely going to be beating themselves. Because at one point in time, we had the guys at 90 for 8. Yes, you heard me right. 90 for 8. And they went all the way up to 204. So as I said, we got an opportunity to see both sides. Total dominance and total madness. Some stuff that happened in the field today, it was just... <laughs> let's just say it was bizarre, you understand? And, you know, we finally got the week, the, the, the last week there. Saki Mahmoud on 49 to, to, to basically close out the day's play. Now... You see, we, 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 had, we had a period there after the, after the, the tea interval. I think it was where we had Nkrumah, Banner and Brathwee just coming up and doing this with their hands. Coming up and doing this with their hands. Over, up and overs, up and overs, they were there doing that. And Saki Mahmoud and, and um, Leash, they were, they were just there milking it. Milking it and just turning over the score. And by the time you know... The guys are over 150. By the time you know, they're up to 200. So, as I said, we, we cannot, we cannot um, erase what the guys did earlier. Like, like the, the, the Kyle Mayers and the Seals, what they did early up. But we still have to look, look at it, man. We still have to look at the madness that went down after T. I I think the second ball after T, Jaden Seals um, picked up a wicket. And um, after that, <laughs> it, was, it was starvation right up until the last over of the day's play when Blackwood was able to get that wicket. And I tell you, it wasn't good at all. I can't remember ever seeing anything like this. I, my viewers, I, you would have to see it. You would have to actually see the madness that was going on out there. I can't remember ever seeing anything like that where a team, a bowling team was actually in the ascendancy, had the team pinned back and know the ball actually got old. One could one could probably put, in, put an argument in that the pitch got a little bit, bit better um to bat and but good gracious man that that was way too many overs between um what's his name banner and 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 um and brathwaite i know we're probably trying to get some overs in get some overs in but i i am thinking that you know at this point roach jason holder seals joseph they they didn't bowl much over I think the maximum over that probably one of them would have had would, would have been 16. We're talking about guys bowling 14, 15, and 16 overs. You know, so I, I, I'm not saying don't try, don't try the spinners and don't try to get the overs in. But good gracious, man, it was too long, in my opinion. It was too long. I, I have never seen anything like that. I have never seen anything like that in my life. So, all right, let us take it from the top. So we had these guys, as I said, at 90, 90 for 8, right? 90 for 8. Then they carved their way up to 114. All right, 90 for 8, test cricket, you're, you're doing well with the ball. You should probably, probably shouldn't reach all the way up there, but they get to 114 for 9. Oh, on God's earth, these guys reach at 200 for 4. Hmm? How? How on God's earth, these guys reach to 200 and for 200, I'm sorry, 204. How on God's earth these guys reached to 204? No, man, a total madness, man. Madness. It's as if the, the guys were just there waiting on the new ball, waiting on the new ball, waiting on the new ball. And having a t you have only one wicket remaining, you know? I can tell them, well, I don't know, but I am thinking every pace bowler would probably find strength, you know, no matter how, how the pitch is going. Every, every pace bowler should probably find strength. To, to, to try and take that final wicket there. You understand? I know it's the, it's back to back test matches, but good gracious man. Mm -mm. No man. The, the, the guys number 10 and 11, the man they move the score from 114 all the way up to 204. 
my goodness basically basically wiping away wiping away the work that was done earlier as i said we need to we need to be able to look at things from a general point of view so generally speaking if at the beginning of play you had said to Brathwaite, all right at the end of the day you will get england all out for you will get england out for 204 at the end of day one you would have said yeah hey, yeah i'll take that i'll take that but having a team down 90 for eight and then going up to 200 that is a, that is too much runs man psychologically the the, the, the english dressing room they, they, they just grew probably another two feet or, or three feet you understand no man and it seems as if the conditions is helping a little bit so if things don't change can you imagine walks coming out and getting the, the, the ball to do a little bit a, a little bit out there mm -mm. No, man we, we saw drop catches we saw misfield you know jaja it, 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 it was just it was just horrible to watch you know after after Jaden seals picked up that wicket i think it was immediately after t after after t i think it could have been when Jaden seals pick up i think it would have been walks or, or folks are one of those guys and after that it was flat it was flat as i said literally this was this was literally this was brathway this was banner coming in with his leg speed and this was brathway literally overs upon overs i tell you my viewers and subscribers that 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 right there and you see <laughs> I, I don't want to write them off, man, but no, man, mm -mm. we have to do better. We, we, we have to do better than that, man. I can understand. I In my lunchtime report, I am the same one that actually said, you know, we had them down at 40 and for three, I think, at that point. And I was saying, um, more than likely, these guys going to fight and, and, and get up to 150 there about or, or so at the close of play for maybe six, seven. But when I see it go down to 90 and for 90 for eight, I had to say no man, we can bowl them out. We can bowl them out because I was expecting a fight back. But not one like that. Not one like that at all. As I said, we saw people putting down catches once again and, and thing. You know, people start bowling ball down the leg side all sort of madness. You know, Crawley Root, Bearstow, Lawrence, all of the, all of these guys fell cheaply. Cheaply, cheap, cheap, cheap. You understand? So Saki Mahmood has never made 40. In, in his in his first class career if i am if my memory serves me right i think when they were talking about him they, they said the highest he ever got was in the 30s and this man settled down and make 49 you know bad luck too too tough luck on him he didn't get his 50. he was trying to probably jog a ball into the leg side to, to, to get a single and chop it on half half the bowling of um, blackwood no man mm -mm. Don't, no look good man no look good you understand as i said um breath weight and and breath weight and, and and his plans i as 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 some of you guys will definitely remind me i am just an armchair expert so let me just give you an idea of what the scores were like 23 for one 29 for three 46 for three i think that could have been where i think that that, that is where they were at um lunch right 53 for four we took three wickets when they were on 53 right 53 for four 53 for five 53 for six 67 for 7 90 for 8 that this is the one that that, that gets me guys 90 for 8 all right you, you manage to carve out um 114 for 9 how on god's earth the number 10 and 11 go back and get 204 runs i know i can't see past it you understand i tell you so 114 for 9 and they go up to to 204 for 10 before um saki mahmoud was bowled by german blackwood where the bowling is concerned, we had Seals getting two for, for um sorry, three for forty, Roach two for forty one, Myers, um Kyle Mayer is doing extremely good, extremely good, getting two for thirteen, Joseph two for thirty three and Blackwood one. You understand? But I think I think I rubbed them enough. I think I rubbed them enough where that is concerned. Let, let, let me let me comment Kyle Mayers, you know. Um I, I didn't have him in my team. And he came in and he definitely made the difference. Got rid of two of the guys up top that we thought you know if those guys settled it, it could cause some some problem for us got rid of crawley and then he, he he got rid of joe root so you know kudos to him i think he's one of them that put down a catch in the in the in the outfield but you know happy that he got some runs you know um that he got some wicked uh what well, at one point in time i was even starting to say uh hopefully we don't worry to take this wicket hopefully we don't take it till tomorrow 
or you know hopefully we wait until the last over in the day we take it and it so happened that you know that is what happened because at what point in time with with maybe 30 minutes to play i was thinking don't don't take this wicket now and then we have to go in and face some deliveries i didn't want that you know it so happened that it the last over blackwood got it so our bowlers will not need to come out um early tomorrow morning so john campbell and brathwaite will need to 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 just come in and do their thing they know what is expected of them they know what is their 204 they need to first get past that and then see what they can do after that but i think i'm not going to say we have let it slip but certainly certainly some madness went on today guys yeah i will leave it right there for you to to, to explain to me what happened there because i don't know big up on yourself yeah man <laughs>